people right here, they have just a tiny bit of competence, but then they have incredible confidence. We call that Mount Stupid. <laughs> okay? And, and people, a lot of people stay on Mount Stupid a long time. And then they come down off that when they get a little bit more confident. They go, holy cow, I don't really know what I don't know, and I don't know what I'm doing. And so then I go from unconscious incompetence to conscious un incompetence. And conscious incompetence means I don't know what I don't know, and I, I need to learn something. Then we move from conscious incompetence to conscious competence. And that is, I can do these things if I pay attention to them if I'm really watching my mechanics. So that means I really am watching my sight picture. I'm really making sure that I press that trigger straight to the rear. I'm really making sure and I'm, I'm taking my time here to get my grip right so that I can do those things. And then once we do it enough, and we've trained our brain to do these things, once you've done things many times, your brain starts to put that stuff into automated mode. So people call that muscle memory. You've heard the phrase muscle memory, but your muscles don't have memory, right? Your brain is what has memory. Your brain uh, automates processes. It digs channels in itself to automate things that you do all the time. We call that myelination or we call that uh, um, neural pathway building, okay? So your brain after a time will do things that you don't think about anymore, okay? So when we talk about neuromuscular programming or we talk about myelination of neural pathways, what we mean by that is, is once I start doing things in a repetitive way, whether it's right or wrong, my brain will start knowing how to do that. So when we get bad habits, you ever hear that? You know, you're gonna go take something up. Um, I remember when I started playing tennis, I played tennis in high school and college, and my first real good coach was like, dude, I wish you'd just come to me first because you've got these things that are, that are these pathways that are ingrained in your stroke that I have to break. So it's gonna take us a bunch of time to redo them, okay? So you might feel that way with your grip right now or whatever, but as we start working out a holster, I want you to really think about your grip. As we get going here, we're gonna do this real slow for right now because I want you to really think about that so that you get to this place of unconscious competence that your brain has myelinated. Here's how you grip a gun. So then that way you're not thinking about it because in that moment that you have to shoot a fool, when it's full shooting time, remember full shooting time is serious business, right? And in full shooting time, I don't wanna think about, make sure you have your pinkies on the gun. At full shooting time, I'm not gonna think about, make sure that you have the front sight, high centered and, and equal height and equal light. Nope, you gotta think about, oh no, I gotta shoot, dude. Please don't kill me. And if you've myelinated your pathways correctly, then all of this stuff just happens. And you go, did you see your front sight? Here's the thing, we ask cops this all the time, anybody in shooting, did you see your front sight? And they go, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing it. Now they might have seen it. They might well have seen it. We just had an officer involved shooting. We got a chance to talk to the officer. He had a red dot on his gun. First question, did you see the dot? He goes, I don't remember seeing anything. That doesn't mean he didn't see it. It just means he was so focused on that bad guy that he doesn't remember if he saw it or not. But he, he went to town on that guy. I, he, I think so. Anyways, he went eight for eight. <laughs> eight for eight on the guy. Yeah, you're probably seeing your sights pretty well, dude. Um, anyways. So we're gonna work out of that and I'm gonna just get you to think about that. We're gonna draw a gun and you're just gonna sit there with it in your hands. Can I get a good grip on this gun? Do I look over here, look over there? Do I feel good? Press through like this with the gun in my hand so I can feel it and see it. Again, pointing it in a safe direction. Okay, I got that. Let's see if I can wrap this and get that. And it's just gonna take you some time. But you can do that with your gun in your hand so we all have to do it on the line. Make sense? All right, everybody up at a spot on the line. Don't need 